Hey, um, it's Lovesick, or not Lovesick, what? It's Kelsey. Um, I'm going to curl my hair because somebody messaged me or emailed me or whatever and told me to curl my hair for them. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my hair down, first of all. And I'm going to go get set up. So, um,. Thanks for watching. I hope this video doesn't offend you. But, uh, see you in a second. So, to curl my hair, I normally use my flat iron. I never really use curling irons because I think they're too hot and they don't really work as well for me. Only because I was never really taught how to use one. But, um,. The flat iron, I think, works best to make kind of wavier curls. So, I'm going to go grab my hair treatment thingy. I'm going to let you stare at this lovely picture to amuse you while I'm gone. So I've put on a hair treatment that's going to protect my hair when I put the straightening through it because um, a lot of times hair straighteners, because of the direct heat on your hair, it could cause a lot of damage. So what I try to do when I'm doing the curls, I try to divide my hair in half, just put it over my shoulders, like so, um, pull out four of the bangs if I want to straighten those, because that's probably what I'm going to do. And you're going to want to start... I'm going to not look in here. You're going to want to start with a piece of hair. Kind of go through it once or twice with the straightener. Pull back in and just wrap around. And slowly pull out. And then when you want to go, it should be a curl. Probably more of a cheese curl. I'm just going to straighten these things, they're really bothering me. There, a little bit more straight. Now, I normally just do top layer because my hair is thick enough that I don't really have to do the bottom layers. Okay. Two curls done. I'm going to wrap. Slowly. Let go. Make sure to press really hard when you have the hair in. I'm going to make a curl out of the hair. I'm going to straighten your and curl. Keep doing this until you're satisfied with how it looks. Now, I'm going to pause the video. And I'll show what it looks like at the end. Whoa. Okay. I'm going to show what it looks like at the end. Um, you're going to look at this picture again to amuse you. Okay, so this is how mine looks. Um, I only did it real quick. Like, because... I want it pretty quick. But this takes like maybe 15 minutes to do. Um, with the back, it's you could have somebody spot you behind, or if not, um, my mirrors. I have mirrors like that, so what I normally do is I open it up and I can view my hair from behind. So, that's normally what's up. Um, now I'm going to show you a thing to make your lips look kind of bigger and showing you. What I did just now is I put on um some chapstick. Some chapstick. I use uh Bostex medicated lip balm in the turquoise thing. Um what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put on a lipstick in the color mocha. I'm just gonna tap it on. And then on top of that I'm going to put in I'm gonna put on top of that the buxom the glass.
by Bare Essentials. It's um, a lip plumper, um, and I think it's in a nude color with maybe a teensy bit of color. But um, I waited a bit for the lip balm to set in before filling this. So what you do with the lipstick is you put it out like so. But you don't want to like wipe it on, you want to tap it on this. I do this a lot in the morning when I wake up because my lips are really pale. Because it adds a lot of color. For me to build on top of. So I think you could wear this to school. Definitely to work. I can put it on so it doesn't work. Not the lip gloss. Really easy to do, as you can see. But I'd let the um, chapstick set in first because it moisturizes the lips beforehand. Now, with just take a piece of toilet paper, get off any lip gloss lipstick that's on the inside of your mouth, or you could also take your finger, put it in this kind of shape, and just go like that. It gets off any lipstick. It's on the inside of your lips. Um, I hope that helped out your day. Thank you for watching my loser vlog. I'm sorry I haven't posted one in a really long time. But, uh, I've been kind of busy with SOLs and exams and such. So, uh, thank you for watching. Um, subscribe if you want to see more of these kind of makeup things. If you want me to post any more makeup things as if I know how to put makeup, um, subscribe or comment below. Um, thanks again for watching. Uh, see you next Sunday. Bye.